This is just a quick demo video uh, that I'm doing just to show a modification that I've made to the optical switches. And what it is, is a mechanism. So I've made this uh, with my own hand tools, basically. It took a whole day to make. Uh, it's just a piece of uh, plexiglass um, or acrylic, if you want, quarter inch thick, that uh, I made this kind of rotation disc. And what this does is it can move the optical switches uh, forward and back as you see it now as I'm moving it. And um, it's operated from the exterior of the motor. So I have this uh, screw here that sticks out and as you can see I can move that screw that way or that way backwards. And then once I find the ideal uh, position, and this is for timing adjustments, then I have this nut that I can just tighten and it locks it in that position. And that's what's uh, going, you know, right here for the reflecting surfaces for the optical switches here. And uh, so that just gives me an on-the-fly, uh, altogether timing adjustments. So here I can adjust timing, but it's kind of uh, difficult if you want to altogether change it. So this was the best uh, system that I've uh, come up now to devise to just be able to, you know, fine-tune the uh, timing. Now the other modification that I'm going to make as well, uh, after I've made this, I've really uh, confirmed now that I have to modify this rotor. So this motor really was designed for um, a alternative, uh, alternating current. So let's say this coil is being energized here and pulling the core in. Uh, what would happen is, as that's being pulled in, the next coil here would have actually an opposite uh, polarity and would actually be pushing that coil out. But I'm just using a, uh, a stationary uh, DC that I'm just turning on and off. And uh, what's happening is as my uh, pole here is attracting this core, uh, this core segment here of the rotor, it's actually now also um, the flux it goes back here even though the next coil isn't on uh, it's going and conducting through the rotor which is out causing an attraction now this coil here is stronger because it's really being energized and this one's off but still the flux goes there and creates a fight basically so if I'm using this with straight DC and I'm not alternating the uh, polarities uh, like probably the circuit of this motor design was doing, uh, I have to basically cut out this pole, this pole, this pole, and this pole. So basically we'll be left with just four poles. And that way now it'll just, I kind of knew that before I put it together. I just wanted to see the results of what it is uh, as it is now. And, um, you know, I've seen that and now the next thing now is to <coughs> modify this and cut those out. So that's going to take a little bit of time and uh, then I'll give, the, uh, give an update on that and we'll see the uh, differences. And uh, this has helped out a lot, this uh, ability to move the timing on the fly as the motor is turning. Uh, that will be uh, working in conjunction with the new uh, modified uh, rotor. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.